Echa imajini muwe hau mugitha kamufira Uka guwadhi Washoka ukara agwiru Na mashogiru uka kiruwara mwurimu wa kansa Wemuga jita guo wadu wa huwa mwagi Na nikio mudhenye wa umuthi Tuwa gishara uko kaunte ya kiabu Ukimenya haruga no ruwa mwanyamuno Ruwa mwiretu uyo wihaha Uriya akuriru akiruwara mwurimu wa kansa Vwa uko ruwa ala gito na muratawe Magitha kamufira Tuika wako njitane hamuwe nani ni gageto wa nduwa huwa mwagi na aguri rikani yate. Aiko ondili tali ya bere watu yuka wako njitane hamuwe na idhwe. Tuika wako subscribe na edha higo shio the tuki kira adhine maha. Wako rogo emodo wa bere kumi ya mukera. Te kudugwe tawo mwe hoko. Kulia toke te wakoro toke waruga noruwa mwede tu owe tuwa lidia. Ulea wako liruo akigenaka accident kanini. Kalea ako liruo akigena dhina wako guru. Na itakwe dago teaderi ya muno ni ya kukoro agitwere dhera ulea wadhire na bere ni uo akoro na dhina uyu ena uo. Jitekeri ya muero reli mudhenya wa mudhi tukoro tukishedzi ya rodhio miru itu todo lidi ya doi kwa li agikuyu na koguo agukoro agituheruga noru wake na gidhu. Karibu. Asante. Mchatuambia majina kulumetoka. Ok, kwa majina. Na ito isabu wa lidi. I'm 24, approaching 25 years old. Kwetu ni kakamega. Tumenua shamba shinyali. But my original home ground iko mdete viga account. Ni venya tu my parents shifted from that place. So, mi ni maragoli. Imelelewa na wazazi wote wa wili. But ikafika mda. Baba akakufa, akabakia mama peke yake. So, according, let me go direct to the point. Kitu meleta kwa kilipu yenye, mi nilikuwa na cheza mpira. Na nilikuwa na penda mpira sana. I had that passion in football. So, in the field of football, I used to do it well. Just from standard 4 to standard 8. Then from there, I joined high school. So, in high school, I encountered an accident in football. So, mwenzangu alishutukania kama aminikanyaga na puuma. And it happened, I was deeply injured. So, the school took me to the hospital. Nikafanyia matibabu. Medication nikaende ikakua sawa. So, nikaludi shule, nikakua tunangangana. It reached a time. So, mgui liku inafura tu inaleta maji ndani. So, wezi lala, you can't move. So, shule inanudisha hospitali, wanavuta ndani maji na syringe inakuwa hivyo so it was like a routine so when shule zilifunga i went we went back home shule zimefunga and my situation was and when i was at home kama tumefunga shule so situation was and i was unable to communicate back to the school so my shortcut was i was supposed to go to the day school ndo niendelee na kusoma so me going to the day school it was that inability project il queen and somesha it could not go on because nimetoka kwa shule ilikuwa imenipeleka that project ilikuwa inaitwa afya 2 you said so na mimi according to the schooling sijaipata grade below b i have my evidence papers so ikakuwa hiyo muda nikakuwa naumia nyumbani my biography is very difficult sisi tumekaa maisha umaskini kuanzia utoto babangu na mamangu wamelimia watu they have really tried to raise us but Inafika point unaona mzazi ana struggle so hiyo project ikakuwa imeni drop hata ukienda hiyo day school hauna vile utalipa school fees so nikaenda day school nikasoma kidogo hiyo situation ikawasen i went back home so nalala nalia mamangu ana pesa babangu ana pesa inafika mahali even we sleep on hungry stomach because there is nothing there and you can't blame them for not getting that daily bread sababu unaona situation wao ni mtu mkubwa so From there, mguwe nyiliwase ni nikaachana na shule sasa. That was in form 3. Nikakaa kidogo nikasema hapana. Hebu niende nikae form 4 nione kama anaifanya hiyo exam. When nienda form 4, eh, wenzako wana kuinsult, wanakuambia ujarejesta nini. I gave up with school, nikarudi tu home. So, mguu ikakuwa tu inaniuma na nunua dawa. So sasa zingine sasa tunapigia tunapi relative simu au babangu ananilia tu dawa za kawaida kama Panadol nini. So ikafika mahali nika apply kazi kwa supermarket with my situation. 
So mimi nikaenda kwa hiyo supermarket nikakuwa tunafanya line ya line attendant. Na hiyo situation yangu nilikuwa naona ilikuwa inawasen kila siku. Sababu what I'm using the drugs that I'm using zinzinge sija ambiwa usi. Then niliambiwa usi they were much expensive we could not afford. So nikaona tu nilikuwa na meza mara moja sijui sona moja sa zingine na niliwa diclofenac na changanya tu hizo vitu as long as it has relieved me from that pain so ikafika mahali nilikuwa naenda kwa hiyo supermarket asubuhi so mtu wa motorbike alikuwa anaenda na hiyo siku alikuwa ameweka mchanga za construction kwa barabara so mtu wa motorbike alikuwa anajaribu kupevu hivi hiyo nini hiyo mchanga na gari inakuja mbio ana pev gari pita na hiyo gari kakuja na speed akapanda mchanga. E, sasa situation yangu si kakuwa hapo sasa imewasen kabisa. Mimi mm. nikaenda nyumbani tu. So si kuendelea na kazi. It was almost one point something years. Ilikuwa kama mwaka inaelekea mwaka mmoja na, na some months kama inaelekea kufika mbili. Nikarudi home ni, nikaenda hospitali kwanza wakanifanyia first aid nikarudi nyumbani so boss akasikia niliumia na pikipiki akakuja akanielewa tu which year was this 2015 okay. so hiyo 2015 after nimerudi nyumbani nikakaa kidogo nikasikia eh, nimeza meza pain kila mimi nikasikia acha nirudi wapi kwa job mm-hmm. As. so after mimi nimerudi kwa job nikakaa unajua ilikuwa kazi ya line attendant na inkusimama unapea customer direction okay yo kazi ilifika mali ikanishinda nikaona eh and the situation inaniwasen so nikisimama sana nafika nyumbani mguu imefura kesho yake na kuwa absent so kila siku ni kuwa absent kwa kazi na kuja moja unakuja madoido kwa kazi ya wenyewe najua biashara ya mtu inafaa you be capable you be there kama amekuajiri you be responsible for anything yenye umekubali you will play part in that nini business institution so mimi nilifika mahali kambia bosi situation yangu sijaiona vizuri. Iko simama naona kama itaniletea shida. So boss akaniambia what is your option? I told my boss that I've been saving some amount. I want to go to for computer studies even if it is packages. Mm-hmm. So boss akaniambia is okay when you are through you come back. Nikaambia thank you. Mm-hmm. So nilikuwa nime save pesa sababu nilikuwa naona huko mbele mimi mwenyewe sijamaliza shule and the technology ya saizi hadi hata saizi nikisema hata nimefanya hiyo packages it can't earn me that well according to the economy of Kenya so nikaenda nikafanya hiyo packages nikarudi nikaambia boss i'm done akaniruhusu nikaanza so nikaanza hapo kufanya kazi ya cashier so nikakuwa nikakuwa oriented kwa hiyo kazi so nikafanya hapo kidogo kidogo situation yangu ikanishinda nikarudi hospitali So daktari wakanifanyia biopsy ya kwanza. Wakatoa nini? Wakanitolea. Wakatoa hiyo nyama na mfupa hiyo specimen. Wakapeleka lab. Hospitali gani? Kakamega. Mm-hmm. Kakamega nini? General. General. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wakapeleka lab. So majibu yangu ikakuja. By then nilipeleka lab inaitwa New Times ama Times Watt. Iko hapo karibu na Easy Coach. So majibu ilikuja it was showing there is a tumor but the tumor was not specified kama ilikuwa malignant mm-hmm. ama ilikuwa benign yenye inaweza fanya maybe kama si ya spread ama ya kuspread mm-hmm. so ikafika tu mahali mm-hmm. when results zilikuja wakaniambia it is osteosarcoma mm-hmm. so nikafuata daktari nikamza what is this osteosarcoma mm-hmm. daktari akaniambia it is i can in other words it is cancer mm-hmm. so i was like eh cancer na mimi mm-hmm. me at this tender age cancer inanitoana wapi sasa mimi nikasema eh hey, acha so siwezi enda kuambia mamangu oh, at this the point daktari ananiambia niko na cancer sababu sitaki kumuongeza depression mm. unajua sio kila kitu unaandago unaambia mzazi huu oh, oh. and at the same time unajua you provide a lot to the family mm-hmm. so mimi kafika mahali nikasema ah kama sasa nimepatikana na cancer mimi nitaenda hiyo medication pole pole nikiona kama inanizidi sasa mm-hmm itabidi ni maambia mamangu vile kumeenda so after hizo results daktari wakaniweka kwa hizo dawa so nikakuwa na meza hiyo dawa nikienda clinically ni saa hizi ni dawa za cancer ma. kuna dawa nyingine sijui kama ni ya cancer but it was like hiyo dawa inaitwa osteophos mm-hmm. na waliniambia um, my infection they have diagnosed me with osteosarcoma mm-hmm. so nikona hizo majina zinaendana mm-hmm. 
So your osteophos ndo natumia. That osteophos is at 1300 shillings. Mm-hmm. At the same time auna kazi. Mm-hmm. Sa auna vile utapata hiyo 1300. Mm-hmm. The family mm-hmm. inakudai. Mm-hmm. Inafaa you unene we provide. Mm-hmm. So nikaona na mimi sasa mi upande wa kazi nimeacha kazi. Mm-hmm. So you know kazi uache kwa sababu nita kuacha kazi. Mm-hmm. Unaonyesha hiyo kazi mgongo but in tears. Mm-hmm. Sababu unaenda mm-hmm. but in real senses you are going but utaki kuenda. Mm-hmm. Something is forcing you to go. Mm-hmm. Sasa my health was forcing me to leave that job. But indeed I had passion in that job. Si kutaka kuipoteza. So after nimetoka so ikakuwa too complication. So ikafika mahali daktari wakaniambia I'm supposed to be operated. Sababu hii mgwi ilifika mahali haina nguvu. So nikaambia nika sasa hapo kutaenda aje wakaniambia I'm supposed to look for 5000 for the operation. Alafu mambo ingine B itakuja kwa bill. So mimi nikasema is okay. Nikaenda tu home. Na nilikuwa nimeapply ingi kazi nyingine Imara supermarket huko Kaebe. So before niende Imara nilipata tu pesa. So after nimepata tu tu pesa kuna relative alijaribu kunisupport situation yangu. Nikaenda nikaekewa chuma sababu hii mguu ilifika mahali haina nguvu. Nikaekewa plate. So after hiyo plate nimeekewa nikakuwa tuna survive nayo. Na eh kufika 2021 So kufika 2020 wa daktari wakakamega mwingine anaitwa Dr. Dr. Yine imenipotea. There is a name. Huyo daktari akanirefer niende nione Dr. Alshula. The late. So nikakuwa nikaenda kwa Dr. Alshula kwa orthopedic. So after nimeenda kwa Dr. Alshula kwa orthopedic akani akani view. Uh, so he has been my orthopedic for a period of almost three months mm-hmm. nikaona there was a change so after that change tukakuja mambo ya covid so ile interaction ya watu ilikuja ikapungua mm-hmm. so kukua na conditions protocols zikakuwa mingi so ukienda hospitali sasa unajua everybody was scared about that nini covid mm-hmm. so hiyo wakati na huyo dr shula kapas so wakati nilienda huko after ame pass na mi condition ilikuwa imeanza ku change hiyo mm-hmm. chuma ilikuwa hiyo venye hiyo plate niliyekewa sasa ikafika muda ikaanza tu kufura inafura inafura so nikaenda nikaambia daktari alikuwa nikaambia mm-hmm. mi situation yangu ina change mm-hmm. and you have been my good doctors so akani refer kijabe mission mm-hmm. so at the, at the moment i'm doing my treatment at uh, kijabe mission hospital mm-hmm. so venye nilienda kijabe daktari wakaniambia kuna so before nikatolewa hii plate sijaeleza hapo mm-hmm. before ilifika mali plate venye ilikuwa inafura nikarudi tu general mm-hmm. nikatolewa hiyo plate mm-hmm. so general wakaniambia ni nikafanya chest CT scan mm-hmm. nikafanya um, x-ray nikafanywa ultrasound hizo vitu tatu mm-hmm. so wakaniambia i was supposed to go for mri nikauliza hiyo pre, pre, price ya MRI hiyo price ya iko ina reach venye mimi na according to my ability how much was it some of like 10 to 12000 hapo okay. so nikaambia daktari NHIF yezi akaniambia pana MRI mm-hmm. okay it is just paid cash so nikaenda tu home bila hizo hopes so ndio ile kuna niambia ndudishie mamangu majibu ni mwambie mali naelekea mm-hmm. So hiyo wakati natolewa plate nilikuwa nimeitwa kwa Imara supermarket. Mm-hmm. So huyo mdosi wa Imara supermarket ndo alinichangia pesa ikafika. Nikafanywa hiyo operation, nikatolewa plate akanilipia bill, nikatoka usi nikarudi nyumbani. After nimerudi nyumbani nikakaa eh. Sasa mamangu ana kazi, babangu akakuwa amekufanga sasa bado tu it is just ali. Babangu amekufa tu hiyo mapema. So hiyo situation ikakuwa inawasen kila siku so sometimes mamangu anezenda alimie mtu huyo mtu ampromise kesho akujia amtampea something maybe okay shaenda pate huyo mtu tena yuko but sasa you just sleep on a hungry stomach because even if i'm on drugs so sasa unasikia at the same time you are on drugs at the same time you are sleeping hungry so when you sleep hungry at the same time you are in pain so you are chasing that pain with drugs but you have taken nothing So unaona kama sometimes nasikia tumbo inaniwasha. 
Napigia o daktari wangu na mwambie hizi dawa nimemeza tumbo inaniwasha sana. Akaniambia do you take them when you have taken any meal? Nikamwambia our, our biography is very difficult nyumbani. There is venerated vener, vener, we are venerable. So we are unable me sina mza, baba mamangu ana kazi so sometimes i take those drugs on empty stomach so baba na mamangu ananiambia sometimes ni prevent ku take kumeza dawa i've not taken meal so mimi namsikiza tu saa zingine naruka kumeza hiyo dawa saa zingine na meza so you know you are you are killing the pain but you are creating another infection in the stomach so daktari akaniambia ni hiyo nini ime create niko na alsas kwa tumbo so inafika mali eh unamna huko nje sasa mimi have been the breadwinner kuna rafiki yangu uko na saiba huko kwa market so zingine anaenda kumsaidia maybe atatoka aende kutafuta vitu za za nini za saiba na nikimaliza kusaidia na kazi na wafanye kazi wake so zingine unapata sasa you can't sell that work akulipe sababu yeye hajakuambia umsaidie kazi so unaenda to home na hopes the next day god will give you something I have hopes. I'm a lady of hopes. I have never given up in life. If I could have given up in life then mm-hmm. even I could not be here. Because at the same time sana unajua pia mimi nikijiumia at mimi ni mgonjwa. Mama wangu ata feel your pain. I anze ku Najua mama wazee unasikia oh mara pressure, mara diabetes, diabetes imepitia ndani. So mimi nafika kama mali na unanga stakangi ku stress sasa mamangu sababu palvenya yako peke yake ni mjane. So tena nimuongeze oh kila siku ni Lydia. So naonanga tu I keep on fighting for her because that woman has been strong with me. That woman is just my hero. I ca- I have no words to describe my mom, but that woman has been strong with me. She has been with me all over. Hakuna place mamangu tukuanzia utotoni. Anezenda kwa shamba alime, akuje ateka sapa hapo. Aseme we eat. Basi sasa yeye amefunga kamba. Tumza wao kuli, asema tu ah mimi nitakula nimeweka yangu. Kumbe there is the, that food mamangu anaona it is not enough for us. So you find that she is sleeping on hungry stomachs because of us. So mimi singependa kuishi maisha venerality sababu ya my ugonjwa yenye niko nayo. Mimi ningependa tu I shine for my mom because she has been struggling with me. I'm a struggle sana. So I would just like I just shine for my mom because when I go off na jua nitamwacha in darkness where by my mom atabaki tu maybe atabaki amehuzunika and you know venye tu mtu anapenda mama yake huwezi furahia ukiona mama yako anateseka. So unaona mamangu sasa hizi sina kazi anaenda kuomba kwa majirani majirani wanatucheka mimi anasema oh msichana wake amekuanga kwa supermarket they have been okay mm. sasa hizi venye sasa amekosa ndio amekuja tumsaidie but in real sense in supermarket there, there is no a lot of money you can earn below 10000 10000 at this moment i need to buy my drugs i need to to give something to my mom i'm a lady i have my basics so unaona pia niko na mtoto wa my sister nimemsomesha saizi yako kila 7 ameenda grade 7 next year anaenda grade 8 so mimi nafika mali na jiuliza hii grade 8 nya anaenda aje mm. anaenda aje at the moment mngu imeniweka chini sina vile naweza msaidia but siezi blame at your field in licheza ya football ni menletea all this mm-hmm. an accident is just an accident and let me tell people who are in the field of football They don't see my situation alafu for abscond your field. Yes I was a star. It happened. I accepted the situation. So I my me tama yangu sana kwa sababu nilikuwa nacheza football I used to play even in the out country vile hao wasichana wadogo wanaenda huko they do something for their country they come back proud so mimi nasikia eh msiku mmoja mimi mi hadi mimi nilikuwa na promising wa mwangu wait one day you will see me in a television I'll become a star and my style will just come from this football so mean na nafikanga mali na sema if i could have absconded that field i could not find my situation in this position but in other words mean nafikanga mali na sema maybe god has got a purpose of making me to kukunywa hiki kombe na kunywa saa hizi because maybe ningekuwa na mguzangu zote maybe my ways could not be rushes 
Maybe he moja vlimenyeka chini. God has got a purpose. Maybe God wants me to come out with a testimony that I don't know. So in any cup that you encounter, just take it because God has a purpose. In anything that you undergo, just pray to God. One day, you will become a hero. You will become a testimony. And me, I believe one of these fine days, I'll become a testimony. Because being down for almost, this is the eighth or ninth year, if I'm not wrong, it has not been easy for me. It has been difficult. I'm fighting for my family. I'm not learned at the same time, but ni knowledge tu ni mezaliwa nae nye miniko nae. Can't say that form 3 is a class that you have documents. You only have that class 8 certificate. At this moment, class 8 certificate is not working. And at the same time, the, the, nini, the, like, saizi technology inaenda mbio. So you can't be stuck somewhere with that class, class 8 certificate telling people, I'm good in computer. Computer is nothing. I haven't gone deeper in that computer. I have two packages and a part of ICT kidogo sabu. I kwa cyber. I can do something in that field. But my profession, I just wanted to be an accountant. But my dream, I think at the moment I can say that I can raise my dream back. But sometimes when I've come out now, it is like it is late. It is not too late. Because mm. shule. Yes, I'll focus in school. I'm a good student. I can focus. But now mentality. My people at home are menzoya. I bring for them. Mtoto assistant we work class eight. Ana balance. Uwa nimekuwa niki struggle sana. Nisibaki na balance ya class seven. Just from standard one. I've been with her from standard one. Hadi size ya seven. So, mimi natakanga tu that lady to shine. Uyo mtoto wa sister angu wa shine uko mbele. Mm. Asifike form 3 kama mimi. Apite ya hapo. At least a, a move mali penye. Mm. In future, at as a side ya shoshi yake. Or any other person. Because me, I still have hopes in life. That I'm going to be a conqueror. So, mm. imu gui mini pitisha halingumu. Mm -hmm. Imu pitisha halingumu sana. Na, as for now, ju umesema umekukenda kijabi kutreatiwa, sindio? Mm -hmm. Daktari wanasema nini? What is the next step yenye wanafaa kuchukua ndio, at least maybe ukwe na improvement? So, uu daktari wa kijabi told me, mm -hmm. then there, there are two options. Nikienda yu nini yu biopsy ya pili, mm -hmm. na wapate that infection, iko at one point. Mm -hmm. Kuna vile nitasaidika. Na kipata yos infection, it is, it is a malignant mm -hmm. that will spread. They will cut off this food. Mm -hmm. So mimi nikasema, ah, basi kama ino nitapendeza mungu. But yes, I'm not willing to lose my leg mm -hmm. because it is something that I was born with. Mm -hmm. I'm not sincerely willing to lose my food. Me, most of the time, wanaomba mungu na mwambia, let me just go. Mm -hmm. Nikifika hospitali nipata hizo tarifa za daktari zimebadilishwa. Mm. Because I'm very young to struggle on one foot. Mm. At the same time, I can't raise that money for cutting it off. And I can't raise that money even for that biopsy. The biopsy was 40,000 mm. that I was supposed to pay so that I can go for that biopsy. Okay. So at the moment, I have no that money. I don't have that money. Mm -hmm. At the moment, to, pass, to, to, to proceed with my medic medication, it has become difficult because of finance. Mm. Kuna madawa za nyume kwa kitumia? Eh, ni kona hii osteophos. Mm -hmm. Una nunua pesa ngapi? Osteophos size in 1300. For how many days? You, it, there are three tablets. Mm -hmm. Una, una mezanga moja kila mandi. So inaisha kabla mwezi ishe. Mm -hmm. So you assume at the same time you are not working, you have a lot of money. So as I talk now, I have a lot of money. I don't have that money to raise. So ndo my uncle can tell me, the date has been long, I have a lot of money to raise. 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 Then I have a lot of money to raise. So this is my uncle's house. 
I'm stay I've been here for two days and this is the third day mm, and my uncle has gone to to hunt for his bread watoto wake wanacheza hapo nje na sasa umekuwa ukienda kijabi kulingana na vile umetuambia mm. ulikuwa umesema the might amputate is there a cost for that so i was trying to inquire something from that doctor akaniambia mm-hmm. if it is amputation plus another foot mm-hmm. it is approximately approximately 450 to 500 thousand that is not the exact amount mm-hmm. it might be less mm-hmm. or it might be more mm. so say the urgent thing ni biopsy ndio wajue kama imesamba or mm, the urgent thing is biopsy okay and at the same time you know hiyo biopsy kufanyika mm-hmm. i need to have money yeah and i don't have that money mm. and at this moment the pain that i'm undergoing hadi mm-hmm. hata ningekuwa mtoto mdogo mm-hmm ningekuwa nasumbua but it's just a matter of Mungu amenipa ile perseverance mm. hata ikinyoma siwezi sumbua nko yangu wewe nipeleke wapi mm. so sometimes na meza tu pain killer na ka kui manage mm. okay. and at the same time nimeza nimeza madawa hadi siku hizi eh tumbo imekuwa moto tumbo imekuwa moto sana chakula ni changamoto sasa kama niko home mm-hmm. that is now an, another challenge na nyumbani mama kona nani peke yake na mtoto huyo okay. sister yangu wa class 7 so hakuna siblings wako wadogo huko mimi ndo last born okay mm. na mama najua the condition is bad now yes it reached a time mm-hmm. nikamkalisha chini nikamwambia mm-hmm. what am i going is this so i've been pronounced that i'm cancerous so you take heart because i'm a strong lady mm-hmm. i'll know how to manage it so she was like she was crying but i told her no mm-hmm. it is my situation mm-hmm. don't cry over this it is just a small it is not a big deal this is just a small thing to solve so ile tu na encourage but the pain that you are undergoing hadi hata siku moja nilikuwa nasema siku moja tu mungu angesema ati oh mtu anaweza kusaidia mguu yake ukae nayo alafu na ukae na mguu ya mtu muda kidogo mm-hmm. i could be a slave in that ningekuwa naomba kila siku mguu mwingine but sasa it is impossible mm-hmm. and the leg is mine so unajipata tu uko nayo movement is now a, a problem so at the moment uncle yangu amenunulia hiyo walking stick hapo oh yenye sasa una disappoint nayo eh Okay. So there was there was somebody that nini alinisaidia na pesa mm-hmm. nikanoa king stick nyingine ikavunjika. Oh, eh so tena there was a lady mm-hmm. akanunulia ingine. Hiyo niliacha ushago niki, niki travel nikikuja huko. Mm-hmm. So I was like mamangu venye tulipanda gari mm-hmm. mamangu ni kama alichanganyikiwa kabaki amesimama na huko kwa stage. So venye nilifika Nairobi na uliza driver niliingia na walking stick akaniambia hapana mm-hmm. nikapigia mama simu akaniambia libaki naye so my uncle ndo amenibaishia hiyo walking stick nyingine sasa mm-hmm. so, na sasa mm-hmm. ni ni kuanzia hapa eh uh, this one the mm-hmm. problem is just in the knee mm-hmm huko ndo kuna uchunga alafu saa hizi kuna balls zimeanza kufura kama tunaona this one is like it wants to burst mm-hmm. but sasa it is very painful that hata nasikianga each ball usiku but nikitaka kuiich mm-hmm. it is very painful hii mm-hmm. ilifura juzi alafu hii mm-hmm. sijui ilifura juzi pia hii ilifura juzi alafu mm-hmm. pia huko kwa scar penye waliniekea chuma mm-hmm. tena imefura hizi ska zote zenye nilifanywanga biopsy mm. na ile ya, ya kuwekewa plate zote zimefura so imekuwa painful hadi huko naona kumaanza kutana mm. na inafura mm. pia huko mm. nasikia kama huko kuna oma huko mm? kuna oma hakuna pain mm. ni kufura tu juu ya effect ya mm. sorry hata ni moto very yeah. hot 
sasa unajua saa zingine kama weather imekuli hivi inakuwa moto kabisa mm. tena kama kunajua inakuwa moto hata kushinda hapa hadi ukiweka kitambaa yenyewe inakauka tu juu ya iko nasikia ni kuna joto kabisa mm. na saa watu wangi maji ama aina atol Mm, saa hizi haina maji walisema sasa it is like a mass mm, ni yeah. kama ilikuja ika so mm, sasa ika, ikashikana so saa hizi they said that it is just a mass mm. it is not something that cannot be removed by a syringe mm. Mm, haizi pita na sasa lidia mm. ongea na watu wenye unatutazama uambie vile unaweza taka kusaidiwa na usaidizi mahali wanaweza kuwa wakituma ndio at least waweze kukua wakikusupport kuzunona umesema hata it's a challenge kupata hadi chakula and honestly mtu aizi kunywa dawa kama mm. hana chakula si ndio so we must start from some, somewhere si ndio yes. so unaweza ongea na watu kwa kamera uambie vile unaweza taka wakusaidie na pia hiyo support inaweza tumwa wapi Okay me I'll just urge anybody who is watching this clip a Christian a Muslim anybody if you just encounter this clip I'm just requesting for a humble help you can help me in prayers you can call me and advise me what to do because my situation I don't share that much with my family people kama mamangu I do I don't share na yeye sana niende deep mpaka niwasikie kama anasononeka. You can call me and advise me on what to do. You can help me majorly financially because at the moment my health is fluctuating. It is becoming worse than it is worsening than the back days. And at the moment as I continue staying with this infection, maybe it is that that will spread, I don't know. Maybe it is that that will stuck at one point I don't know. So day by day it keeps on swelling each and every time. So if you want to reach me my numbers as 0742 2 is Sabwa Lidia. Ni thengiu muno mwiroreri ni gukorwo ukirorera rugano rwa mundu gwitwa Lydia na nidona ni mwiritu wiyumiririe muno 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 tondu you can see the situation honestly mundu agiagagya kuria na ni aranywa dawa handu ha watiukaga wega kogwo Lydia ni arafatara uteithio wana ihenya muno nigwo thino uyu wake uraigwa ni thina wikarite miaka kenda na da, badu dali agia a way out kana uhoro wa gukorwo agitangikirwo thibitari ni tugikorwa tukimuteithiriria ona kiria mundu agikorwo akiona kana kuringana na uhoti wa mundu no dimwihoe muno muteithiriria Lydia niguo thina uyu wake wa kuguru ukorwo ukieherio agikorwo dagitari mugite ni kuguru gukorwo gukithikutinio gutiri undu aregete na kogwo no dimwihoe muno mutweke ado akonyitirira Lydia na kiria kinini mungi koro na kio niguo ahote gukoro agitangikirwo thibitari ni thank you muno ni gukoro mukirorera na aria mata subscribe te make sure ni mwa subscribe niguo riria twakoro tukirehe ngano cia ado magienda gukoro makeheyo te ndimo gagikoragwo mukiona no na nyige mugakoro mukima support asanteni sana tonane in the next video bye bye